As humans evolved as a species over time, so did warfare. From spears and clubs to catapults and crossbows, to firearms and armored vehicles, humans have always found newer and deadlier ways to take out their foe. Ever since the dawn of modern warfare in World War I, technology has advanced rapidly in the effort to become the champion of the conflict. New weapons such as tanks, airplanes, and ships revolutionized the way warfare was waged. Nations introduced new weapons, dubbed terror weapons, that would scare enemy nations more than they would destroy them. The morality of men can bring out the best and the worst of humans. Although we continue to evolve as a species and develop new ways to kill one another, we can never forget the milk of human kindness we all have inside of us. In the book Soldier Boys, we see the horrors of the Second World War through two young boys. Dieter is a young German who is infatuated with the Fuhrer, raised from childhood to be a lifelong party member. His honor, loyalty, and desire to serve Germany supersede his judgment. His steadfast work in the Hitler Jugend would even attract the attention of the Fuhrer and ultimately have him join the defense of his fatherland. Spencer is an all-American farm boy who joins the cause in order to prove himself a man and do his part in fighting the war with his fellow countrymen. After joining the Airborne, he would see his first action in the frozen forests of Germany. In the harsh winter of 1944, across the vast expanse of the Ardennes Forest, a German offensive has just encountered heavy American resistance and retreat back further into the woods. Both boys will fight in the same war at the same time, and their fates will forever become intertwined. Spencer would come home a hero and forever be idolized by his small town. Dieter would survive the encounter thanks to the aid of the American. Morality during wartime is something that stayed similar throughout wars, yet differed in ways such as how it was performed or the ways in which it was expressed. 
From the sieges of the Crusades to the rolling mountains of Afghanistan, morality was only shown during these times of violence and onslaught. In the face of peril, two hidden sides of a human being can be found, their innermost darkest temptations and their greatest compassion. This can be seen in events like the rape of Nanking, the Soviet occupation of Berlin, and the concentration camps that dictators like Hitler and Stalin ran. On the other hand, events like the Christmas Truce of 1914, where German and British forces came together on Christmas Day to celebrate the birth of Jesus, give us a ray of hope and compassion even during the darkest days of human history. One such incident occurred on December 20th, 1943, when after a successful bombing run on Bremen, 2nd Lieutenant Charles Brown's B-17, also known as Ye Old Pub, was severely damaged by German fighters. A pursuing Luftwaffe pilot named Franz Stiegler had the opportunity to shoot down the crippled bomber, but did not, and would see the crippled bomber's safe passage out of Germany. After an extensive search by Brown, the two pilots met each other 40 years later and developed a friendship that lasted until Stiegler's death in March 2008. And now we'll take a look at an example of bad morality. During the Sino-Japanese War, the capital of China, Nanking, fell to the Japanese Imperial Army. This results in the retreat of the Chinese government to Hankou. Japanese General Matsu Iwan ordered that the city of Najing be destroyed. This order resulted in the massacring of 200,000 men and the rape and mutilation of at least 20,000 women of all ages. This type of behavior is locked away behind the wall of civility and culture, and is only unlocked and harnessed when dire situations arise. Golding described it in his work, The Lord of the Flies, which sought to attempt to display this decline of civility in a way readers could understand and analyze. Everyone has a hidden side to them, one that reveals their true character. Although war will continue to be waged, and development of a weapons potency will continue, man's inner nature will continue to remind us of what life is truly for to live and let live.
Um, paragraph two of closing. Everyone has a hidden s Everyone has a hidden side of them, one that reveals their true character. Was this supposed to be a part that says that one that's